Well, me, at first I had to really kind of, you know, make my circle a little bit smaller. I think my entourage was kind of out of hand at first, you know, and so now my, my initial friends and my initial family are, are the people that, that want to do right for me you know, or have me, you know, on the right path, you know, and see me be successful, see me be the best Chris Brown I can be, you know. So I think, you know, it's just basically, you know, a lot of prayer, I pray a lot. Also just the right people that, I, can just, I can't just—I can name any names, but I would just name my friends and family because, you know, they keep my head on straight. They tell me if I'm doing too much, they tell me if, okay, man, you know, let's chill, let's do this, you know. They're not, I don't have a group of yes men around me, you know, so now it's, I, have, I have the, the right uh, formula <laughs> for success now with my friends and family. Well, R. Kelly, me and him, we've had a long relationship since I was maybe like 12. I think he was like the first studio I've ever been in, like a big real studio in Chicago. I went out there. Um, his A&R at the time was also one of my production people. So I got a chance to really meet him before I was even signed. And he put us in the studio, let me write and, you know, just work on my craft. Um, but the main thing I took from, from R. Kelly, he was just telling me, man, just it's all about the music. Continue to make great music no matter what they say about you, no matter what goes on. It's all always about the music. So, you know, I took that motto and, you know, put my own spin on it. <laughs>